have one side be intake and one side be exhaust and what we found was after we unload our first time we could have you know two preloaded or three preloaded and grab you know from our trench unload them and then we could get in this rhythm of not having to turn around or really align our robot but just going back and forth one of the we talked to the programmers and they said they would be able to have a button which would reverse the controls and switch the camera view so it wouldn't it would just feel like driving forwards We've been working on a lot. One of the things that we've been working on is a mock-up of flags that we're going to make to have at competitions. And also win button designs that we've been making. Uh, I made a, a new volunteer button, but this one was more generic, so we made one for this year. And then I also made just like a normal button to have at competitions. Because we got really big, so you can all see it. We've also been working on some little lightsabers. Most of them are smaller than this, but this was the only one we had right now. We also have a very fun motto for when you're in the mascot for safety. Yeah, we made mascot rules this year because last year there were like a lot of problems with the mascot and the number one rule was if you feel weird, take a break. Obviously, our card that we got this year. So, soon there's going to be button pressing right here so that when we need to do our buttons we can just take them up and actually start and we have our button making stuff that goes on the top. New t-shirt design. It took a while, but we finally got it. Um, based off C3PO, using four colors. Also using the new blue that we're, we just started using, which is lighter and it'll show better up on the shirts. The logo's also changed. We have a blue lightsaber now. And this is the back of the shirt with all the sponsors on it. Okay. And Sabrina, we're also working on designing the back of the trailer. It's very small and hard to see, but, so we're having the logo on the back, and then we're having a slash through the side, with yellow on one half and blue on the other. We're the videography section of the digital media team. We recently got a new camera that's making everything way, way easier. A huge upgrade from our last camera. Also, we're working on a completely new introduction video for our YouTube, which we are hoping to have up sometime this coming week. So we're working on consistent YouTube schedule update, which will start up after we finish the intro, because that'll take a majority of the time. and. Yeah, that's that's what we got going on. What I did here, to use a polycarbonate here, and I have engraved my, my name in it, and there's other patterns here to, you know, just to see what the light would do, because it's edge lit. Dirty. Wow! This, this is so good! Why um, did you spend so much time on it? I converted all of the sponsor logos to, like, black and white, you know, make it, like, simple, and we're going to engrave the sponsor logos into pieces like this. We're going to place them in various places on the robot, have them edge lit just like this. So first we're going to start prototyping the um, intake system, which is a bar with two wheels that are going to push the power cell inward into another wheel that's going to bring it inside the robot. We don't have it drawn up. Essentially, it's a tube system with a belt-driven system on the left and right side of the robot that the belt brings it up and then this actually stops it at the top once the first one is in and they keep going up to the top each time. Alright, so with this design, we'll drive up to a power cell and 
the intake right here will ramp up the power cell do this ramp up to here and then you'll either add a conveyor belt or something down here push the balls into the uh, the bottom port uh, if we can't get the ball to ramp up up here by its own we're going to have a conveyor belt to feed it up instead we're going to have a dual hook system that's going to have bars in the future so that way if let's say the side breaks you still got that side in the those two. It's, it's kind of like a placeholder. We call it about a three inch in diameter uh, telescopic pole. You can kind of see it here. Uh, it basically extends and all it does is set the hook uh, and then it will come back down. The hook remains on the bar. And if you look at the drawing over here, we have two winches uh, and there will be a cable running through the hook up top and then it just pulls it using these two winches up to the top. Pretty much just how we climb. And then we also came up with another idea for a scissor lift that's on the back of this whiteboard. It takes too long to turn around, so I'll just explain it. It's basically just like a scissor lift, like uh, on other machines. Uh, it has two bars on one side and one bar on the other to have more stability. Uh, and then at the top, on a pivot point, so it's not a bar that can snap, is a hook. And then with this design for the hook can also be just slightly. Uh, change to fit on top of the scissor flip. We finished uh, scripting the presentation. Uh, we finished storyboarding the video, uh, the intro and uh, like the end of it, which is going to be all animated. And then I need people to like speak in the video. And then we finished the plot line for the essay. Today we have never ever ever been that far ahead on children's essay. Congrats.